Hello friends, here we are with another very common interview question, maximum value contiguous subsequence. So what this problem says, you have an array of n numbers and you have to find an algorithm for giving a contiguous subsequence for which the sum of elements is maximum and it must have at least one element. Let's understand with this example. I have this array and this array can have so many subarrays like I can choose 15, minus 6 and 18. So if I'll add all these values, I'll get 27. Or I can choose minus 20 alone. Maximum is minus 20 here. Or I can have minus 4, 15, minus 6. Sum is 11 minus 6, 5. I can also take 15 minus 6, 18, 2, minus 20. You will get 9. Or you can choose 15 minus 6, 18 and 2. And adding all these values, you will get 33. Sorry, it's 33 minus 4, 29. And after inspecting all these values, you will get 29 as the maximum sum. So here's your answer. But how will you arrive at this solution programmatically? How you'll code it? Here's the brute force approach. In this, we'll uh, jot all possible subarrays and see which subarray has maximum sum among them. Let's see it with an example. Suppose you have 4, minus 7, 11, and then 3. What are all the possible subarrays of it? You can have 4. 4 minus 7 or you can have 4 minus 7 11 4 minus 7 11 3 minus 7 minus 7 11 minus 7 11 3 11 and then 11 3 and finally 3 if we Compute their sum, then here we will get 4 only, 4 plus minus 7, so it's minus 3, 8, 11, here minus 7, 11 minus 7, 4, again 7, 11, 14 and 3. So out of all these, 14 is the maximum. Thus, this is a solution. And for doing this work, we are fixing an element. And for this 4, I am fixing one other element also. Like here 4, then minus 7, then 11, then 3. So this fixing is n squared thing. Because first I will fix them for 4, then for minus 7, then for 11 and then 3. So it's an n squared thing and for adding all these values, I am traversing them completely from 4 to 11 like here, 4 to 3. So it's n squared into n, thus its order is n cube. So here is a more sophisticated algorithm which is cadence algo and we have the same array as we used before. Let's name this array as A. So a0 is minus 4, a1 15, minus 6 and 18, 2 and minus 20. We'll take two variables for it, total max and current max. What total max is storing in it? Global maximum sum. So basically this will give you the result. Global maximum sum. And current max is storing sum at each position. Now, initially, 
I have total marks minus 4 and current marks also has minus 4. So if I put a counter I0, I0 when I is equals to 0 for the array then I have stored minus 4 in both of them. Now increment its value, now i is equals to 1. So I have minus 4 and 15. Now you tell me current max is minus 4. And if I add 15 to it, I'll get 11. So is 11 the maximum sum till here? No. 15 is maximum. If I take 15 alone, then this will give you the maximum value. So I should store... 15 here. In one way I am saying that hey minus 4 you are making my value less thus I will not use you. I will start with 15. Thus I stored 15 here. Also I will increment I will change the value of total max as 15 because it is greater than minus 4. Okay so in one way I am starting with 15 now. Next is minus 6. So, when I'll increment this value by 1, I'll get 2. So, I have 4, minus 4, 15 and minus 6. Current max is 15 and if I add minus 6 to it, I'll get 9. So, current max, I'll change it to 9 because I have to store maximum of minus 6, that is a i and 15 which is current max plus a i. So whichever is maximum out of these two I will show that in current max. This formula for current max is a i or current max plus a i. Whichever is maximum, I will store that. So now, current max is 9, but I will not change total max. It is still 15. Next, when I increment i, I will get 3. So, minus 4, 15, minus 6 and 18. I have minus 4, 15, minus 6 and 18. Till here, out of this, as I ignored minus 4 before, now 15 minus 6 is giving me 9 as current max. And if I add it to 18, I will get 27. So out of 18 and 9 plus 18, the maximum is 27. So in current max, I will store 27. As well as in total max, I will change it to 27. Then I'll increment i again by 1. So I get 4. So now my array is minus 4, 15, minus 6, 18 and 2. Current max till now is 27 and if I add 2 to it, I'll get 29. So current max now changes to 29. And total max also changes to 29. Next I have minus 20. So, till 2, minus 4, 15, minus 6, 18 and 2, current max is 29 and if I add minus 20 to it, till here, sum is 29 and if I add minus 20 to it, I will get 9. So, out of 9 and minus 20, which one is maximum? 9. So, I will store 9 in current sum current sum becomes 9 finally and total, ma uh, total max is still the same it is 29 and since we have traversed the whole array the final value is 29 of total max so here is the answer as we have already seen the example so now it's very easy to see this algorithm and understand it firstly we have initialized it with array 0 and then I'll go in a loop from 1 to n minus 1 and every time I'll change my current max accordingly and if 
current max is greater than total max then i'll change the total max also so in this way after completing this whole uh, traversing i'll finally get my result which is in total max and the complexity of this whole algorithm as uh, i'm traversing it just once so time complexity is big o of n Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos and please comment below if you have any query or if you have any suggestions to make it better. Thanks so much.